show a coin, and we're going to show it in such a way that it's going to kind of um, start off small and zoom in, uh, so it'll be kind of be a dramatic revealing of the heads or tails, right? Um, so we're going to do that's a different type of animation than this sprite animation, which we did in the last video. This is different. This is it's one image being scaled as opposed to uh, multiple image being uh, uh, kind of flipped through. Um, so let's go let's go back to our um, coin controller .m file, and so what we're going to do in here is we're going to do this in the stop animation method. So we, we stop the animation. Um, we're going to create um, a new UI image, just UI image, not UI image view, because um, this is not a view. It's just a creating an image. We're going to call it image. Okay. And then we're going to make that equal to UI image, image named. Um, so basically, we're going to say we're going to make it equal to we'll just make it equal to our heads.png file, which I've not even I haven't even loaded this into the um, program yet. What doesn't it like here? Oh, this is a capital I. Okay. Ah, so we needed um, square brackets around this line. That's why I had an error message there. Um, so that's basically saying, hey, this new image we created is going to be equal to this heads.png file, which I have not added yet. We'll do that momentarily. Um, and then we just need to um, set our coin image. Remember, that's the name of the um, the... In UI image view that's on our view controller. So we're going to say, actually, let's put this inside of square brackets as well. We'll say coin set image and we'll make that equal to image, which is the name of our file. So that should now change the image from the hand flipping the coin to our. Um, picture which I'm gonna load in now again these are available for you in the description so here's our heads.png and we have a tails.png as well which I'm gonna just load both of these in hit finish all right so now that is a part of it so now we should be able to run this and see let's hit play Twenty. Coin toss, and there we go. Um, it's not scaled perfectly. We can mess with that later, but at least we uh, it's working. So now let's, like I said, I wanted to dramatically have that enter the screen scaling up. Um, I'm going to show you. There's a different way, we can, different type of animation we can use to make that happen. I'm just going to copy the code over here and put it in here. So we'll go ahead and put that in here right underneath coin equals false. And let me go over what I just added here real quick. So this is um, another type of animation. Like I said, you can uh, scale things with this animation. Uh, there's various things. Like I said, if you hold the uh, command key down, this transform, you have different uh, different ways to transform it. We're going to just um, use the make scale transform. Um, and so again, like the one before, you have a duration. This delay is how many seconds? Do you want to delay before you start the animation? Um, we're going to animate from its current state. Um, this is just a standard line here that allows us to then create the animation. I'm going to do 1.5, the actual size of the image. And then you can do things on completion. We're not going to do anything on completion of the animation. We're going to leave that as is. I have a line comment out there. We can really just delete that line if we wanted to. 
um, we're not going to do anything in the completed part. Um, so that that's going to scale it up. So, but the one thing is though the current state um, is the is its size is um, you know its size is at you know 100 percent. So I actually want to start it out at an even smaller size than that. So I'm actually going to copy this line right here to our IB action. And the first thing I'm going to do with that is I'm going to call this right away. I'm going to make it go to point 0.2 here. So really shrink the image down. Um, let's see if that works. Now. So I'm hoping, that, and you won't even notice this shrinking down because uh, we're hiding the image immediately, right? So uh, let's see if that works, though. So as soon as we click this, the image is gone. We have our flipping, and then there we go. Whoa, that's pretty big. Um, we might, we're gonna have to mess with that. Well, I guess 1.2 is probably too, 1.5 in scale is probably too large. So we're gonna have to play around with that. But that you can see, you can um, animate the image uh, in multiple ways. You can, you know, I showed you the sprite, and now this is uh, scaling it. Next, we'll actually do the the calculations to make this um, come in as either a heads or a tails based upon a random number generator.